Welcome to this video in which we will be designing this part by using the sheet metal in SOLIDWORKS. In this video, we will learn the vent and embossing in sheet metal. So let's begin. So at first, select file, click on new, select part and then click OK. Click on front plane and click the sketch option. Select a line and here make a horizontal line then this vertical line then again this horizontal this vertical and this horizontal line now here we are going to make some relations so select this line press the control button select this line and here we are going to make some relations first we are making this collinear relation and then we are making this equal relation the purpose of collinear relation is that these two lines will be in the same line and an equal relation I will explain later. So select the smart dimensioning tool and make this dimension as 20. And here is the purpose of the equal relation that the dimension of other line has also become 20 millimeter. Now specify this vertical line as 30 and this horizontal line as 80 millimeter. Now we, we are done with the dimensions and now we have to move on to sheet metal in case you do not have sheet metal right click here and in this tab button find sheet metal check this box here and now go to sheet metal select this base flange this base flange acts similar like extruded boss base in features in case you are not familiar with this base flange so here we need to specify some parameters select here blind option and here we have to specify the length so specify here 110 and then this is the thickness and here you can specify some radius let me show you specify here 10 and here you can see the radius of the corners has increased and now set it back to 5 and here you can see the radius of the corner is decreased so simply check this box now and now it's time to import some embossing feature for that go to design library in case you do not have this design library then you have to watch some other video so that you can import this design library in SOLIDWORKS so expand this bar now and then select this forming tool and then select here embosses and select this first one and then drop here on this part and now we have to locate it uh, just flip it here because we want the other direction so go to position and here we need to select the center line and from this corner to this corner make a center line we are going to locate this now select the midpoint of the circular emboss then press the control button and here trace the center point of this line select this point and here make relation coincident and here you can see this circular boss is properly positioned here on this part now check this box and here you can see now select this face click on sketch select the circle and here make four circles press the escape button select again the circle command and make another circle similarly we have to make four circles third one and finally the fourth one and now we have to specify the diameters of uh, these circles for that select the smart, smart dimensioning tool the first circle diameter 39 the second circle diameter as 26 millimeter similarly the third circle as 13 and finally the fourth circle diameter is 6.5 So we are done with the dimensioning check this box here and now select the line command and from this quadrant to this quadrant of the bigger circle make a line select the line again and make a vertical line like this on the outer circle then select the line command again and from this edge to this edge of the outer circle make a line then again from this point to this point of the circle make a line in my case all of these lines lie on the same midpoint but if your case 
if these lines are not on the same midpoint then you have to make the coincident relation and now select the smart dimensioning tool select this line and this vertical line and here specify the angle between them as 45 degree select this line this line and specify the degree as 45 degree okay so now check this box here and now in sheet metal select this vent command that we are going to learn here and in this box we have to specify some boundary so select this outer circle of 39 millimeter and here in this ribs window select this all of these lines one two three and four all of the straight lines okay and here we have to specify the thickness of these lines so specify here 2.5 click enter and now here you can see these lines look better now and in this window we have to specify these two circles okay and here is the thickness of these circles they are fine and now finally in this window we have to specify the most inner circle this one so this is selected now and we are done with this vent so check this box and this feature has been created and now specify some appearance you can uh, specify any appearance you like so we are done with this tutorial if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you want to learn more about sheet metal and weldments then you can find the link in the description box